You know what's great about the future? We don't have to carry around a giant sketchbook and 100 pencils anymore. All we need is one iPad and one app. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, firstly, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about technology and architecture. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite apps and it's Morfolio Trace. As a registered architect, I use a lot of different apps for a lot of different things. However, I found Morfolio Trace to be one of the most practical and useful to date. So if you're thinking, why does this guy use Morfolio Trace instead of Procreate? Well, it's simple. As an architect, I use Morfolio Trace to better understand what I have to do later. I don't use it for presentation drawings or pretty 3D renders. I genuinely use it in meetings when discussing with clients to better understand their needs and that way I can utilize it later down the track. So there are a number of ways I use Morfolio Trace and the first is import and overlay. You simply import the current drawings that you're working on or whoever is working on into Morfolio Trace and you start marking them up. You use it exactly the same as if that drawing set was printed but instead of having to go through hundreds and hundreds of pages you can just go through one document. Once that document is completed and fully marked up, you can quickly send that document off and you don't have to wait for them to again, either get it or print it or do whatever. So overall, I think this is a very practical way of using Morfolio Trace. So the second way I use Morfolio Trace is when you're actually very far away. So if I'm having a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting or anything like that, I can actually sync up my iPad to that meeting and share that screen. So instead of having that client talk to you directly and draw on a piece of paper like you would in an actual meeting, this way you can bring up the drawings and you can still sketch up and mark up and actually understand what they're trying to get at. Now, what happens when you're that little bit too close for comfort? Well, Morfolio Trace can still be used as a sketchbook so you don't have to bring out your giant rolls of trace paper and lots of markers and textures. You can utilize Morfolio Trace as a diagrammatical tool or a presentation tool. I just personally don't have those skills. I never really tried to learn how to be an artist. I just learned how to be an architect. So if you do have those skills on board and you're a great artist as well as a good architect or aspiring architect, Morfolio Trace has those abilities built in, ready to go. I guess one of the last and least used features of Morfolio Trace is the AR ability and being able to actually showcase your designs in the real world. This technology is up and coming throughout all different platforms and softwares, so it's going to be used more and more. However, right now, it definitely isn't used and it definitely doesn't count as a pro towards Morfolio Trace. Now, you've already flipped the money for a brand new iPad and a pencil that costs an absurd amount of money for what it actually is. Incredibly useful tool nonetheless. One of the downsides of Morfolio Trace is the simple fact that it costs a decent amount of money if you want to continue to use it at a higher level. So for example, I use quite a few of the features in Morfolio Trace and I use it quite a bit. So I've had to purchase the premium plan which is almost 30 Australian dollars per year. Procreate as a competitor is only $15 for the entire app. So you might be able to weigh up your options here depending how long you actually use it for. However, if you're looking to spend a couple hundred dollars on an iPad, a couple hundred dollars on a pencil, and then another 30, 40, 50 dollars on Morfolio Trace every single year, well, you might find yourself running out of food in the fridge pretty quickly. So once you buy a new iPad and once you buy a Morfolio Trace, you've spent a pretty decent amount of money. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And because this forms one of my 28 videos in 28 days for February of 2021, it would usually be I'll see you next Monday, but in this case, I'll see you tomorrow.